but is mad that you keep him in mind. Take away his breath and he returns to the dust from which he was made. You and I just have to breathe. And we know that God is with us. Where did the intelligence come from? The gift of understanding and knowledge. Could it be that he breathed on me and put in that curiosity? That potential? Could I not see that God was breathing in me with the affection of a father for a son or a daughter so that I could learn these things, that struggle with these things, agree and disagree with these things? Did I not know that the potentials that he gave me, that I was exercising within me, was his breathing in and out? I got so caught up in what I had to do to, to achieve, to do, to, to be graded upon, to not want to fail and succeed. And I forgot there was a God who had given me the potential to be all that I can be and live up to my potential and be the best version of myself. I forgot that he never stopped loving me when I was worried about my exams. So let the Spirit of God accompany you in your academic year so that your books do not become your gods. So your academic achievements don't become your idols, but become the tools through which God will enable you to shine beautifully in this world, that you may be a gift to others because God loves you and you love God. We recently got our Bishop Barnes Newman Center. It's a home for us, especially as college students. And I'm just excited to graduate and for all the classes. I'm excited to get to meet new people, see new faces, and just helping them navigate through their college experience. Being able to express my faith to others and basically be inviting to them. To meet new members in the Newman Club, introduce them to the club, and get to know them more and help them grow in their faith. I'm excited to continue on my journey through college. This is my last year. There's always a new influx of fellow believers willing to practice their faith on campus, willing to be a part of the community and all the activities. That's what I'm excited for. It's, I love seeing brothers and sisters coming out and celebrating the liturgy, Eucharist, or praying the rosary with us all. Um, my faith comes in and it really guides me and um, it also helps me to find peace when I'm stressed a lot is just like turn to God. Sometimes we're so stressed and overwhelmed by so many stuff and that we forget to just pause for a moment and breathe. And now I feel like I've grown into my faith and I'm closer to God. I feel like the faith has made a big impact in my college education because I come from uh, far from home. So having this here is kind of like a reminder of that God is always with me. And Before I came to college, I was always the church-going kid. I felt like once I got to university and when I was introduced into the Newman Club, it basically helped me grow stronger in my faith and find my faith more. So there's been some uh, struggles, times of trial, but you know, my faith and, uh, and especially those in the Newman Club, you know, they really uh, helped me to uh, stick with it and to uh, uh, persevere. In my, my faith journey, which carries me through uh, my education, and I strive to make the center of my life to be what guides me. God, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I trust you with all my physics work. I trust you, master and creator of this universe, to help me with physics. I actually chose UCR because I knew it had a Newman Center. I knew I wanted to grow more in my faith, and I knew that I went to a, a, a college that didn't really have a program for Catholics that I probably wouldn't have a relationship with God as I continued. 